I'm Kaylee. I'm Krista. And we are recapping last night's episode of The Walking Dead called Heads Up. It was episode seven of season six. And Glenn is back. He is happiest, like 30 seconds. Of I texted our lives her and I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Boom. Yes. And then they got us all excited that he was back, and then all of a sudden, Eden, Eden what's her name? Enid. Eden. Eden. Enid. Enid. <laughs> I don't know. She's naughty. Um, well, then she puts the gun at him, and I was like, see, they got us all excited that he's back, and now they're going to yeah. take him away. But I thought that, too. My question didn't. was, why was she running? Like, why didn't she want him to see her? That was my biggest, like, thing. That was one of the things, like, I thought was super weird, because... Did she let the walkers, or the uh, wolves in? Because she had the thing of keys. Mm-hmm. So that was one thing that I was questioning. Um, I thought it was right. really, really sad when she said the world is trying to die. Yeah. It was like, oh my goodness, this poor little child has just been tormented. I mean, she's lost everything in this world, and she sees no reason to keep going and no reason to fight to keep the world going because she doesn't see it going back to the way the world was originally. So there's no reason to continue. Right. That's that's a good point. Um, When when Rick pulls the sign off for the prayer circle, I laughed. (laughs) Because I I don't like what's-his-face at all. I think he's weak and he's a huge, like, liability. He is, but... It was interesting because, so Rick pulled those signs down, and I thought it was interesting because he's mad at the priest because he, like, threw everybody under the bus. I mean, he's he's not been very true to Rick's group that has saved him for all this time. Um, and so he hates him right now. He's mad at him. So he pulled the signs down. But also, I don't think Rick sees any reason to have a prayer group. It's, no. I think he's at the point right now where he's just like. It's a rectatorship. Well, not even that, just I don't think he thinks prayer is going to save them or help them. No. So it was tearing down the sign saying prayers out of our lives. Like, there is no higher power at this point in the game. And then also because he's mad and he doesn't like him, so he didn't want him to have a group. It was super funny. <laughs> um, you can't so- make Rick mad because then you can't have any of your play dates that you want to have. No. Rick <laughs> you. Um, Ron, he's a little... Schmo. Yeah, I knew, like, when they were pre- or were trying to shoot or whatever, obviously they were setting us up for something really bad to happen, which it did, which I did not get to see because I was one of the people who AMC decided to freeze. I so, TV. I don't know if that made a difference. I don't know if it was certain. Norman. I had a doctor's appointment this morning, and I brought my coffee cup into it, and the lady, my nurse lady, said... Who is on your cup? And I said, well, this is, I said, this is me. And she said, yes. And I said, this is one of my girlfriends. I said, this is Norby. Does she know who he was at all? No. She said, I've heard of The Walking Dead and something about some Glenn guy or something. Whatever. I told her I, told her I was like very that. sad for her. We I don't associate her. with people. I like told that. her I was very sad for her. Um, Side note, also, Norman um, was on the AMAs last night. I was switching back and forth. From The Walking Dead to the AMAs. You were. I know. That was... I'm dedicated and I didn't do that. It was only during commercials. I didn't miss any of the show. But I switched over and Norman was right there on the stage. And Uh, he was giving Carrie Underwood her award. And I think he kissed her. It was hard to tell. But I'm pretty sure he was like, congratulations. She's married with a baby. Well, yeah. But he just was congratulating her. And then he tweeted about it and said, congratulations, Carrie. And she tweeted back. It was so adorable. Um, okay. Two very, very good people. Very good. Okay. A couple things that happened. Back I really, track. yes. Um, I loved the meeting between Michonne, Carol, Rick, and Morgan. I thought that was a really good, like, president's meeting sort of thing. Um, Morgan is driving me insane. I don't like him. I used to really like him. Like, he was the moral compass of the show. And, yeah. you know, this, like, let's not kill people. But now it's it's just overkill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or okay. He's funny. Um... Um, no, Rosita's it's driving me crazy now. Rosita's like, talk out. with Eugene. Loved it. Do you remember this? Because I don't personally like Eugene. He drives me nuts. Yeah. And Rosita was like. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When she was teaching them all. Yes. And 
he was like, yes. Ugh, I don't want to be a part of this. Yes. And he just kind of looked down and was like, I can't do this, so I'm not going to try. Yeah, love that. I hate Spencer for trying to, whatever he was Spencer doing. Spencer is an He's such idiot. an idiot. Oh what my are you God. doing? But then, um, um, Tara. Tara got to flip off Rick. That was awesome. That was funny. That was awesome. Um, and then the wall and fell. And congratulations to her as well, because in real life she just had her baby. Yes. So that was Con- congratulations. Yeah. Um, and then the wall fell, and Maggie now knows Glenn is alive because of the balloons. So all is well in the world, except next week is going to be, like, The intense. saddest day of my life. Well, because next week it's over for, yeah, I know. what, two months or something silly yeah. like that. I can't handle that. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I might as well not even have a Sunday anymore. Right. So, um, anyway... I thought it was hilarious when I found out on Twitter that there's a Gleggy. Yeah. For <laughs> Maggie and Glenn. Uh, that was pretty funny. You don't like it, but I think I it's funny. I don't like it. No, I mean, I don't hate it. Like I said, it's better than... But what's um, our name? Didn't we Kesta. Kesta. Better than Chrisley. <laughs> Chrisley. <laughs> Sounds like kind of like crispy. Crispy cream donuts. <gasps> we could be like crispy Chrisley. I do like that. Anyway, that would back be like on track. Tea, depending on how we were spelling it. Um, I don't know where that came from, but anyway, just random thoughts of the day. That was our um, recap. I just want to say one real quick thing <laughs> about Spencer when he was going over, and he was like, "You wouldn't have listened to me anyway, Rick, because all you want to do is what you want to do, and you don't take anyone else's thoughts into consideration." Remember when they saved him, and he was like, "You wouldn't have listened to me anyway," and I was like, "Well, of course, Rick wouldn't have listened to you at that point. That was a really stupid idea." Yeah, like. But Rick does have a tendency to not listen to anyone else. I know, but why? I mean, he listens to his core group, Michonne. Right. That's all he cares about. Yeah. And if you're not one of the, like, in the in group. The elite. Then he doesn't care what you have to say. I'm okay with that. I did want to say that, but. I'm okay with that. That's about all I have to say. So anyway, that was our recap of last night's episode. It was so, super good. I really liked it. Yeah, comment uh, below. Let us know what so, you guys thought. It was such a happy day because I really was afraid that Glenn was gone forever. He wasn't. I told you he wasn't. I know, but it just didn't make sense that she had no belief. Oh, whatsoever. my husband. Not very nice. We're going to put this one in here, Jim. Just for you. <laughs> Jim's like, yep, they've officially jumped the shark. Because Glenn should have been dead. And so he, when a show jumps the shark, then Jim's out. So my husband's officially out now. Whatever. I'm in. Whatever. It's that's all that matters. So comment below. Let us know what you guys thought of last night's episode. Um, I subscribe. To say. Oh, subscribe. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. We'll be back next week, but then you guys will be free of us for like two months while they're on break. But not for challenges or <gasps> vlogs or fashion videos. Because yeah. We have- Watch some of our other videos. They're pretty funny. Yeah. So we'll see you guys later. Bye. Saying it is meant so much to me to see all of your support and concern for Glenn. The Walking Dead has the best fans in the world, and I'm happy to be back. So.